Flossmas day nine. Day nine already. Holy smokes. We've just gotten back from some tobogganing. Well, they were tobogganing. I was with the dog and watching them toboggan down the hill. And it's a beautiful day outside. It is sunny and cold and just a perfect day for a walk. And we had a lot of fun. So the family is downstairs getting ready to watch a Christmas movie. And so I thought I would just pop in really quickly today and share yesterday's ornament, today's ornament, and I have two lavender and lace freebie charts to give away to someone who would like to stitch them. So yesterday's ornament, you may remember, was the Victoria Sampler uh, it was just called Merry Christmas 2012. This is from the Just Cross Stitch, Just Cross Stitch Ornament Collection from 2012, and it is they they finished it into a little. She finished it into a little change purse. Here, I will be making mine just into either a regular ornament or I'll use it as a fabric piece in a notions tote for the holiday, for my Christmas stitching. So here is where I got to yesterday. So I have part of one of my houses done, some of the bushes and quite a bit of the snow on the bottom, all done. And I loved stitching this. It was really, really fun to work on. Most of the called for DMC flosses as in the pattern, except for the green, the dark green I substituted out. I had some Victorian, Victorian motto sampler threads, uh, the green. I can't remember the name of it. And all I've got is the leftover piece. So it was the same green that I used in yesterday's or the two days ago ornament, same green, I had enough and it was a dark green. I didn't have the called for DMC, so I just subbed that in. You could sub in any green. They calls for a dark English ivy. So use what you have, right? Okay, so that was yesterday's start on yesterday's ornament. And now that wraps up an entire week of ornaments. So I now have seven ornaments there should be eight because there have been eight days, but one of my days I duplicated. I worked on one ornament for two days. So now that project bag is fully loaded with seven ornaments. And so I'm ready to move on to a new project bag. So I made myself a new project bag this morning. I have two more fabrics lined up for two more bags. I'm not sure I'm going to get to two more bags. I might just make one more bag and squeeze a few extra projects into each one. I'm not sure. However, this is a goodie. Okay, so I bought some Anne of Green Gables Christmas fabric. And I bought a coordinating print. It's a beautiful, it matched some of the colors in it, but it has a, a light metallic in the accent. So here you go. Ta-da! This is this week's bag. It is, there's Anne with an E and there's Matthew. It's hard to look and see what I'm doing. There's Matthew in the sleigh with Anne. And there is the very iconic white farmhouse in Prince Edward Island with the green shutters. And if you're like me and you grew up with these books, this fabric, I, I fell in love with it the moment I saw it. And the accent has got this pretty, pretty metallic light shine to it. It's not overwhelmingly metallic, but it's just a nice pretty accent. And there is a, of course, because I needed one, there is a notions tote to go with it as well. So that is my project bag for the week for all of the ornaments to come. So the very first ornament that's going to go in it is today's. And I am going way back to 2008. Just cross stitch special Christmas issue. The cover looks like this. So finally, I'm, I'm getting out of 2012. 
and I'm back to 2008. So the cover looks like this. There aren't a ton of ornaments in here that I want to stitch, but there are a couple. So the next few days will probably be from this magazine. And I'm starting with a prairie schooler. Now, you guys may all remember that they sort of switched how they did these issues. And back, at least for this year, they had all of the photographs of all of the ornaments were all at the beginning. And then the rest of the magazine were the patterns and the designers would also usually send in a recipe as well. So um, anyways, it's neither here nor there. I, I don't know which I prefer. I kind of like the newer style where it's a two pages cover photo of, you know, eight to 10 ornaments and then those ornaments immediately follow. It's a little easier to navigate the magazine, I think, than, than this. I sort of had to really sort of look around for what I was looking for. Okay, so uh, as you can see, this is from the, uh, actually they don't really give a title to this one. Anyways, this is page 14 and 15, the photographs on here. There's houses and all kinds of other pretty things. So I gravitated right towards this one. Number three, and I bet you already know the designer, it's a prairie schooler. So that is my ornament that I'm starting today. And I am using part of, I still have that long strip of 32 count Belfast linen. I still have this much left. So I'm going to cut, I'm just going to cut it in half and use it for this one and one more ornament because I think with these ones I'd like to have a little extra space around the ornament to play with. So that's the plan. So that's today's ornament. Prairie Schooler. What's it called? It is called Snowy Night. So there you go. That's today. Blossomus Day 9. Okay, now Lavender and Lace. So I have two charts to give away today and I have I have a few more tucked away downstairs for future giveaways but I thought I'd just give away two today uh, and I'll send them anywhere it doesn't matter where you live so the first one I have is from way back in 1996 and this was it's called lavender and lace uh, well it says told in a garden but that's not the that's not the name of the pattern it just says 1996 Christmas gift from Lavender and Lace. I think Told in the Garden is the name of her her shop or her house, Mar uh, Marilyn, the designer for Lavender and Lace. Anyways, I digress. There's the pattern. So it's a freebie chart, so I feel no compunction in flashing it up on the screen. This is all I have. So 1996 Lavender and Lace pattern. Uh, so for these, I think what I'm going to do, the easiest way for me to give these ones away because the Mill Hill train I'm doing on YouTube. So let's do these ones on uh, Facebook. So the Friday Off the Grid Facebook group, that's where I'm going to put the link for you to enter to, to stitch either of these. And I'm going to do two separate entries because maybe you like this one, but you don't like the other one. So here's number one, 1996. And then the second one that I have is 1998. Christmas Angel, Lavender and Lace. And this one is going to be very easy for me to mail. This other one, I'm going to have to fold it in half. So just be forewarned, I will be folding this in half in order to uh, save on postage and make it a little bit smaller in order to send it, okay? So those are the two that I have to give away. If you'd like to um, have your name in the pot for either of those, head over to the Friday Off The Grid Facebook group and right after I lit this video goes live, I'll have those two uh, posts up on that group for you. Okay, that's it for me today. I'm off to watch a Christmas movie and let's do some more stitching. And I will see you tomorrow for a regular Monday floss tube video. It'll probably be a little on the shorter side since I have been um, filming every day and talking your ear off every day so I won't have quite as much to talk about tomorrow but we still have to do the Because Monday drawing giveaway and I have a few other things that I've been working on that I'd like to share with you tomorrow. So also I will be filming downstairs in my regular place and not hiding away up here in my great big room of batting. So happy stitching. See you tomorrow.